Well, hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to Dainty Gifts School of Decor and Decoupage. Today, I have another Christmassy video for you. This week seems to be all Christmas for us. I read so many comments that you guys missed my voice. So there you guys go, I'm back. Today, I'm gonna talk you through how I made this vintage Victorian looking bauble. First things first, I start off with this eight centimeter polystyrene bauble. And to even it out, I applied a coat of gel medium, let it dry, and then gave it a light sand. The reason why I'm doing the gel medium is because I find that it kind of tends to fill the gaps in a little bit better. And also I don't like to sand polystyrene directly because I just, everything about it just makes me cringe. So that's the solution that I personally came up with. And because gel medium, of course, isn't like the perfect solution to make it all super even. Again, to kind of fill in all of these gaps and make the bubble a little bit more rounded and even. Once the paint is dry, I take a pencil and I start getting ready for the application of the mold. So what I did is try and kind of line out the center of the bauble. I'm not very good at eyeballing round things, but I did my best. And then I take my DAS air dry and clay as per usual and put it into mold. So I made two of these vine molds from um, Madame Garland mold by Redesign with Prima and two of these ornaments from Fleur de Lis mold by Redesign with Prima as well. To apply the molds onto the bauble, I used trade grade PVA glue, so carpenter's glue. I apply some of it onto the back of the mold and stick it onto the bauble. It's very important to do this while the clay is still wet, otherwise um, once it's dry you won't be able to wrap it around the bauble. So I applied the vines around the middle of the bauble and then put the little fleur-de-lis ornaments on either side of the bauble as well. I wanted to add a little finishing touch on the bottom of the bauble, so I made a little ball out of clay, cut it in half, shaped it so that it was round again, and then again glued it on in the middle on the bottom of the bauble. Then I wanted to add some texture to the bauble, so I took some of this all-purpose filler, which is just a wall crack filler that I bought from my local shop, and using a brush I applied it all over the bauble. I left it to dry for about 24 hours. Now that the clay and the filler were dry, I once again took my pencil and I divided each side of the bauble into um, 16 parts. I decided to go for red and blue color scheme, but instead of leaving the paints as bright as you can see them, I added a little bit of white and black into each of the colors and that kind of faded them and made them look more vintagey and Victorian. Once I was happy with the paints, I applied each one of the paints um, on every other stripe, on every other division, and then I alternated the paints on the other side of the bauble. To paint the moulds, I used brown acrylic paint. And once the paint on the moulds and the rest of the bauble was dry, I took a natural bristle brush and I dry brushed some white paint. So what I mean by dry brushing is I pick up a little bit of paint I wipe away most of it on my plate and then I gently brush it over the rest of the bauble and the molds and so the paint 
just kind of sticks on the raised parts and the, and the parts where there is kind of more of this filler that we applied earlier, giving it more of a textured feel. I used Vintage Gold Metallic Wax by Finnebar to show off all of the clay parts. So I just used my finger to apply it on. And then I also decided to just kind of brush over a little bit of that gold on the rest of the bauble. But instead of using my finger, I used a natural bristle brush once again and kind of gently brushed it over the rest of the bauble. That way there was a little bit of gold going over the rest of it, but it wasn't as kind of strong and in your face as it was on the moulds. I also added a little bit of black paint splatters all over the mould again, just to add to that vintage feel. Next, to separate each of the divisions a little bit more, I used Pebeo Contour Liner. This one is gold colour, and using this kind of dot, drag, dot, drag uh, technique, I made little lines to separate each section of paint. To finish the bauble off, I added one of these little hanging hooks, which by the way, you can purchase from my shop. There's going to be a link in the description below. So I simply put some glue into the hole that we made earlier for our bamboo stick. And then I added a little vintage bow, which I prepared a little bit earlier, and a vintage string so that you can hang it. Again, I glued the bow onto the base of the hoop and then I tied the string onto the actual hoop itself. And that is it. There you guys go. I really hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. It was a very, very simple project to do and I hope that you have maybe learned something new. And it would be absolutely amazing if you got so inspired by this that you would just go and make something like this or something similar of your own. That would be absolutely amazing. For my question of the day, what I want to ask is what other colors would you use on these kind of baubles? Because I want to make some more of these to go on my Christmas tree this year. And I'm kind of a little bit stuck for colors to use on the other ones. So let me know what colors you would use. As always, links for everything used in this video are gonna be down below. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. Lots of love from my house to yours and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!